our family gets grandma home and everybody's quite excited. And grandma has her own room and the house is plenty big for her. Uh, it takes a couple of weeks to really realize that grandma needs more help than the family is prepared to do. Mom works full time, kids are both in high school, dad works full time. It's noticed that grandma sleeps late. When uh, we get home at the end of the day, grandma has not eaten hardly anything. Uh, she hasn't been bathing and there's been a few concerns that there's no clothes for uh, her to wash or for her to be washed for her. She's a little confused as who the kids are and when their friends come in, who they are, just where everybody fits in. Uh, she's a little argumentative. She kind of uh, is uh, just different than they have anticipated her being uh, when they got there and thought she would be really excited about uh, coming home with them. They also find she has 18 different medications that she takes and she has been trying to coordinate this while she's been home doesn't seem like she has it quite under control. Uh, going to the bathroom, sometimes she makes it. She seems to have a little bit of odor that they, uh, everybody is concerned about. And when she gets out of the chair, she's really uncomfortable. You can tell that she's just pushing up and uh, maybe something could be done to help her get around a little better. And then she's a little unsteady as she takes off to go to the bathroom or the kitchen. Uh, the doctor's visits, nobody quite knows what's going on. Uh, she does have a doctor in place and he is uh, an internal medicine uh, doctor. And they've kind of been thinking about papers. Where are her papers? Are they in place? Do the papers that we filled out 10 years ago for durable power of attorney still have any authority? And should somebody be taking over some of her decisions?